Hello, Alan Steady here again with Firewalls.com. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to configure a Terms of Use hotspot on your Sophos XG firewall. Hotspots are an excellent way to control guest access to the network. Let's go ahead and jump right into the web admin of our Sophos XG firewall and take a look. Configuring hotspots is extremely simple to do. What we'll do is navigate over here to Protect and Wireless, followed by Hotspot. Here under our Hotspots tab, we'll go ahead and select Add. And of course, we'll go ahead and start by giving our hotspot a name. But before we do that, I did want to point out that in my example here, I'm going to be doing this on a physical interface. However, in more common scenarios, what we'll actually be doing is configuring this for a guest wireless network. That's an extremely common use case for a hotspot configuration. So if you already had your wireless networks configured, you would actually see that interface listed here. Whenever we configure a wireless network, it does associate an interface with that network. I'll just go ahead and run through an example here. Uh, so I jump back over to wireless networks. I'm just going to create an example guest wireless network. And in our example, we're going to be using a terms of use acceptance. So we won't use any kind of encryption setting or prompt our users to enter in any kind of password. Yes, we definitely want to make sure that our guest wireless network is in a separate isolated zone. Just go ahead and give our interface an IP address. And we'll go ahead and say save here. Now you also want to be sure to configure a DHCP server for your wireless network. I'm not going to bother with that in this example, again, because I'm just doing this on a physical interface. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump back on over here to Hotspots, and we'll select Add again. And here under our interfaces, you can see now that we have our guest wireless interface. So if you have multiple wireless networks, you're going to see all of those interfaces listed here, so long as those are actually configured in a separate zone. So we'll just go ahead and select Port 1. We'll give our hotspot a name. We can enter in a description. And when we actually build out this hotspot configuration, this is going to create a firewall rule for us. So within this hotspot profile, we can define all of the same forms of security policies that we can as if we were building an actual firewall rule. And that's all done right here. So you can see that we have application filter policy, we can also add a web filter policy, as well as our intrusion prevention policy, and we can also apply traffic shaping. In our example here, we're not going to apply any form of traffic shaping, but if you had a smaller setup, and if you were worried about guest activity competing with the production environment, this might be a good option for you. We can also redirect to HTTPS. So what's actually going to happen here when we go out to the internet, and we'll show this in a demonstration very soon to come, it's going to direct us to a new page where we're actually going to have to do a click through by accepting the terms of use. So we can do a redirect to HTTPS and we can enter in a custom host name. Just go ahead and leave this off for now. And right here is where we're going to define our hotspot type. So in this example, we're going to be using a terms of use acceptance, but we'll go ahead and expand this and I'll just show you guys um, that we can also configure our hotspots for password of the day, or we can also select vouchers. We're going to leave this set to terms of use acceptance. And then here under our session expires, we can actually define how long the session will stay active for before the system prompts the user to again accept our terms of use. In a guest environment, I feel like two hours is pretty fair, but we do have the ability to extend that out if we want to. So right here is where we're going to enter in our terms of use acceptance. This is a custom message here. I saved us all the time of just typing this out. I just went ahead and copied and pasted this over from a notepad that I have over on the side. And moving on here, we can also enable a redirect. So what this is actually going to do is once our users have clicked through and accepted our terms of use, we can redirect them to a URL or some kind of a landing page. We'll go ahead and redirect our users to our firewalls.com services page. And also something that's really neat is that we do have the ability to do some hotspot customizations. I'm not going to go too deep into this, but we'll go ahead and expand it so we can see what some of our options are. So what we can actually do is co-brand this. You can upload your own logo, and then we can also control the content that's displayed within our hotspot page. We're just going to go ahead and leave this off, and we'll select Save. Excellent. We can see our hotspot has been successfully added. We'll just go ahead and jump on over here to our firewall rules, where we can see that our hotspot firewall policy has been created for us automatically. By default, it is going to put it at the top of your firewall rule stack, but like any firewall policy, we have the ability to go ahead and move this wherever we'd like. Now let's go ahead and just test out our functionality here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab here, and we'll just go ahead and try to browse to ESPN.com. 
So we can see here how the hotspot configuration has actually stopped our access to the internet and it's going to force us to then accept our terms of use. Before I log in here, I'll just point out if you did if you wanted to implement some customization, as we briefly touched on when we were covering the hotspot configuration, if you do use your own custom logo, this is where it's actually going to be displayed right here. So instead of seeing the Sophos logo, you'll actually see the image that you import. And our terms of use here was actually that text that I had copied and pasted into that window. So we'll go ahead and say login now. And if you recall, what we did do was add our redirect. So as you can see here, once we have accepted our terms of use, we're actually going to be redirected to our firewalls.com services page. And that's really it. We hope you found this video helpful. Be sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel so you're notified of future video releases. And if you found our video helpful, give us the thumbs up. Be sure to come and check us out at firewalls.com. It's www.firewalls.com. Get secure, stay secure.